Yo, this is Ethan Hammerman, Draft Mecca's Hot Take Specialist. And I am going to do an EJ Games, who, you know, talked before how much I love the Missouri defensive scheme. I think that it's so much fun to scout. I think it prepares players really well for what they're up to for the next level. And EJ Games is a huge sleeper in this cornerback class. I actually personally have a late first round grade on him uh, over the likes of more highly touted cornerbacks such as Jason Barrett, um, I guess also Bradley Roby, although he seems to be slipping a little bit. And I still like Roby, but I'm a big fan of Games. And I'm hoping to show you why. We're going to go through his own mistake. Uh, and this should not be a super long cut-up. It's only around four and a half minutes. These cornerback cut-ups tend to be pretty short. Uh, but I think you'll enjoy it. You'll get to see some of why I love him. So Gaines is perfect cornerback size. He's like 5'10", 195. That's basically ideal cornerback size. Get over there, you see him. Scored a guy out of bounds. Got to love the choppy footwork. And he's, of course, playing against a couple of receivers who are a lot bigger than him. And he's still holding his own in coverage. I mean, toward the end of the year, people just threw away from games. They did not want to deal with him. They were just scared of EJ games. They just did not want to throw into his coverage. Plus, the other cornerback on Missouri is really bad, Matt White. Um, but you see him fighting off blocks, just working back toward whoever catches the ball. Uh, footwork doesn't let anyone get behind him. Um, here he actually got walled off by, I believe that is... A receiver, but much bigger. Uh, Ole Miss, though, is also a sad story because they could have been so much better. Oh, what a beautiful play. Extending on the ball. I don't think that's a flag for the record. Um, that is a bad penalty call. Uh, did everything that you wanted him to do there. He sent it for the ball. He was in the receiver's hip pocket. That's a solid defensive play regardless of the call. Uh, that, that, that's just not a good penalty call. And... I think that actually that is a grab that won't always be called the NFL. It won't be. That's a subtle grab. That's something that, you know, some flag hat refs might call it, but Dark Please Dinner is the same exact thing and no one really cares. So, yeah, that's an example of, you know, I'm always sort of of the opinion that handsy cornerbacks are always good. Um, but you can coach them to use their hands smarter or use them a little bit less, but it's harder to coach a willingness to be physical, especially when you're not the biggest guy. Um, and, and Gaines does play bigger than his size. Gaines plays a lot bigger than his size. And he can play multiple defenses. He can play zone. He can play man. He's a good tackler, as you're about to see. Just sort of jumping on the pile there and keeping ball carry from doing too much, although, yeah, I don't think that's a fumble. Um, but yeah, this Ole Miss offense, they were a good quarterback worth being really good. Bill Wallace is terrible. Bill Wallace is really bad. Again, just not, you don't often throw at teams. Uh, these teams mirroring really well in coverage. It's one of those cases where stats don't tell the whole story because, you know, first. And also Moncrief is someone who I'm going to do a video on at some point because I'm, I'm a fan. Um, but uh, just good tackling, just smart. Does everything you need a quarterback to do. He's going to run well. I think he's going to end up running 4-4, four, four, maybe even low high 4-3s. And he just knows how to play the position really well. I mean, you're not going to find a quarterback in this class other than maybe Dark Lee's Dennard, who's not – even though I think that some of the speed questions on Dennard are a little bit overblown, I don't think that he's as fast as games. Um, it's going to be hard to find a player in this class who is as natural a cornerback as EJ Games. Is probably the best way to put it. There is Tony Ely on a uh, on a rush right there, making some noise with his speed and bend around the edge. And, yep. He just does just about everything you need a back to do. Just a lot of fun to watch. And I, I think that some guys are going to start to come around a little bit on games. If your team drafted EJ Games and you're watching this video right now and it's May, 
uh, your team got to steal wherever they got him, unless they got him number one overall, which isn't going to happen. So, he, he's just really fun to watch. He knew he had the safety over the top there, so he played that short, which was perfect. Just, I, I hate the word heady when it comes to quarterbacks, just that he's, like, solid. But EJ Gaines is the kind of player who's always going to give you that solid, consistent play, and he's capable of something special. I think he's the kind of player who once, if NFL teams decide to challenge EJ Gaines, they're going to pay for it at the next level. And so that's him. I'm hoping that Breakdown gets more tapes on EJ Gaines. Whichever team gets him is a lucky freaking team. He is a really good cornerback, and we'll see where he ends up going in the draft or where he ended up going, uh, depending on when this video is seen. Um, EJ Gaines, to me, is one of the best cornerbacks in the draft. I'd definitely have him in my top five cornerbacks. Maybe even higher. I might even have him in that sort of rarefied territory with Dark Who's Dennard. Uh, and maybe even a couple of other guys who could find their way there over time. But in terms of just solid play at the position and the speed and the ability to play multiple coverages and the intelligence, EJ Gaines is probably the most complete package in this class. So anyway, we'll see how EJ Gaines' stock continues to rise and how he sort of matures. Uh, if you have any other ideas for prospects, feel free to send them my way at Ethan Ham like, comment, subscribe, share. And next time on Hot Takes, we're going to do Kyle Fuller, another good cornerback prospect. That's going to be coming up very soon. Bye.